We have a $20 donation from DB Mini Cooper that says, sleep is for the weak. I am very weak, but I can make it through just one more run. So I really hope that they made it all the way just to see their comment right here. All right, it looks like we are ready. So I'm going to throw it over to Davey, who is going to be running Ratchet Deadlock. Let's hear it. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. <laughs> it's being more enthusiastic. <laughs> I can't. It's too early. All right, uh, let's get started. Uh, three, two, one, go. Yeah! Woo! Woo! Again! Dude, Ratchet yeah. and Clank, let's go. Yeah. You no know plank. it's ready. So, Davey, tell us about yourself. <laughs> uh, I'm 21, and I'm a professional speedrunner. <sighs> Woo! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! That's, all That's all I got. I love that. Yep. Heck yeah. All right, so this is uh, Ratchet Deadlocked, and there's a very specific reason why it's only called Ratchet Deadlocked is because you will see Clank for exactly half a second. Is it, uh, is it coming up? Oh uh, yeah, I feel like it's coming up. You'll get to see him uh, like briefly, but you know we have to. We yeah. have to. It's it's it, at this point it's just like a necessity. Come all on, right, Clank, all where right. Are you? Where, where is are he? You? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, he's gone. Right. he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Okay, he's we gone. don't need he's him gone. anymore. He's gone. We got these cool <laughs> robots instead. So, Davey, tell us about the robots. All right. So, the robots play a really big part in this game, where uh, a lot of the way that we actually move. Uh, is revolved around wh when they will teleport or how they will follow you. So right off the bat, like we're gonna do a death warp, and if they like come too close behind me, then like they just did, uh, <laughs> they're they're not gonna teleport right away here. So now I have to wait for them. So you know, just something like that can lose like five seconds, even though it's something so minor. Yeah, this game is notorious for very arbitrary time losses. It, the robots are... For a long time, we thought they were RNG, but it turns out we were all just bad at the game, and <laughs> then we kind of learned that we just have to be good at the game to make them do what we want. So yeah, Davey is is the... Not only is he the runner, he's the knowledge bank here. We... we right. So we've run this game a little bit, but, uh, you know, nowhere near the Davies level, you know, he is the professional here. <laughs> so I'm coming up on a skip here where uh, I pull out this weapon right, and right when I get to this challenge, I'm gonna mash to shoot and, okay, I got it. So for that skip right there, there's like a very, very short time period where uh, it doesn't actually register that Ratchet is inside the Landstalker yet. So you can actually shoot your gun and actually take out the first gate without actually uh, wasting extra time. Yeah, the the Landstalker missions, at least casually, everybody always talks about how much of a pain in the butt they are because the Landstalker controls are very awkward. So the fact that he's moving, <coughs> he's excuse me, he's moving this smoothly is pretty cool. I would say. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah and. <laughs> Landstalker missions in general is just like, you just want to like sidestep for the most part, just aim down. There's so much lag in this video game that it, whether you're running on an SSD or an H HDD, um, depending on your PS3 model, you definitely just want to look down the entire time. It reduces lag and it just makes the whole speedrun go much faster. And um, as you can see, like the, the way that Davies is destroying these enemies, um, it's always better just to like keep your reticle like closer to to the like lower than the horizon, as you can see him as he plows through this mission flawlessly. <laughs> can you like shake me awake? You have a lot of energy. I need I, some of that. Just, <laughs> I can't give you my energy, but but Davy can certainly provide that for us. But yeah, Davy's bringing the hype. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just based uh, on the way he's destroying yeah, no, this. That's one for the cringe comp. That's my bad. <laughs> All right, uh, so yeah, now we're on Serathos, and this one's cool. It's, uh, there's a bunch of scorpions everywhere, and they're gonna try to shoot him, but he's not about that life. He's saying, get away from me, scorpions. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want you anywhere near this area. <laughs> so yeah, he just, it, this whole, <laughs> this, 
This whole uh, this whole sequence, you'll find deadlocked. It's it's a series of mission after mission after mission, and that was kind of uh, the draw of this game is that there's it it took a detour away from the typical ratchet model of you go to a planet and it's a little bit open world. You kind of find some secrets, whereas in this game it's just kind of like. You know, you do the thing, and then you do the next thing, and the next thing, and then there's some optional stuff at the end. So oftentimes it's a pretty linear path, but the way that we deviate from the intended path is what makes it pretty cool. Like right here, he's doing some mind clipping, and those things are pretty precise, but thankfully the refresh rate is really fast, so he can just destroy the mine if he needs to with his wrench and then immediately fire off another one. So he's going to be doing... Uh, another clip right over here to get inside the arena and completely skip having to kill all of these scorpions and turn the bolt cranks and things like that. So he's about to do that. It's going to look really cool. And <laughs> and all right. Yeah. Cool. Oh, really, that's a really satisfying <laughs> clip to get. Honestly, for anyone at home that wants to try it, nothing more than just getting a level 99 uh, mind to do that. And uh, since this mission is more or less like just throwing turrets for the uh, Leviathan to get obliterated by, we can uh, do a couple donations here. Fantastic. Dude, you are so popular. There's so much here for you. All right, one tabloid, one, two, nine, sends in $25. It says, hey, Davey, good luck on the run. Sorry I couldn't be there to share it with you guys. Shout out to the rest of the Ratchet community for being some of the best friends I could ask for. You guys are the absolute best. That's amazing. I want to be your friend. Can I be your guys' friend? <laughs> we have a good community. Yeah, that, that's so nice of Tad. That's so unlike him. <laughs> yeah, it's very, very, he's from England, so as you can imagine. <laughs> All right. We also have Lincolnito sending in $25. Hey, Davey, 10 years ago, I had my first and only run accepted on Speed Demos Archive. It was on this game. Today, I'm really glad to see one of my favorite games of all time being present at a GDQ Ooh. marathon. Show them how much butt a Lombax can kick, Davey. Yeah. All right. Yeah, let's clap for that. Woo! Yeah. Yeah, yeah Lincoln Ito is he is really OG. Like he was saying, he's he's been running this game for quite a long time. He uh, kind of comes in and out of the community, and I think he's doing the French restream, if I'm not mistaken. So that's pretty cool. I think that's kind of why the the donation war got bombarded with French. <laughs> But yeah, that's a bit really sus, and like we've been talking about that. <laughs> but like, what I want to what I want to know right now is is how are you able to get on top of that wall right now? Dude? Yeah, tell us all about it. All right, so there's actually like a small part of the ground that's like slightly higher. So if I like ju if I do a flail cancel, which is basically using the flail, then swapping weapons, it captures your momentum and you can actually jump and you'll be able to wrench over the wall. And this actually has our, our first boss fight, right? Yeah. This is, uh, so the, the planet's the hardest Kronos. Boss fight. Yeah, the hardest one. <laughs> we actually, oh yeah, the end one is actually like kind of annoying. Yeah, all right. But this part right here is pretty cool, I would say, personally. I don't know, Skits, what do you think? Do you think it's cool? I mean, like, like the, the basis <laughs> of what Davey's doing is that he's switching his flail to any other weapon, and it's just conserving his momentum into jumping over that wall, which I just want to convey to anyone who's watching this, just because... Oh, wait, no, we, we have to actually explain this. Okay, so uh, Davey was just giving me the rundown on this the before things. we got in here. So what he just did right there, when you enter the... Uh, the camera options for the game, it resets Ratchet's state but keeps his forward momentum. So what Davey's doing is he's doing a hyper strike which raises Ratchet's model ever so slightly. So he's getting his forward momentum and his upward momentum from doing that and it creates this infinite jump aspect which is really weird and was very recently discovered. It's, it, I believe it's 2018 strats but I, it might yeah. have been like late 2017. I don't really know. I'm just kind of making stuff up <laughs> at this point. <laughs> yeah, it's, the, the thing with that trick is, is that it's very, like, because you have to menu so much, it's only, like, slightly faster in certain areas. Oh, uh, that was a boss, by the way. <laughs> he, just, yeah. he just wrecked it in one hit. But he'll be back. He comes back, like, three different times. 
Yeah, they went a little over the top with the mods in this game. So it, when you're playing on the easiest difficulty, you can kind of just one-shot everything. Yeah, so there's uh, four main bosses. The, the plot line, for those who might not know, uh, Ratchet is... And, you know the intergalactic hero. He saved the, he saved a whole bunch of different galaxies, and he was kidnapped by Gleeman Vox for the Vox Network to be a part of their Death Gladiator show. And so there's four main gladiators that he has to kill. This one being one of them, uh, which he already just did in one shot while I was explaining it. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> And he did a, a really cool sequence where he, where he clipped through. That that clip is kind of precise, so the fact that he was able to just pull it off so cleanly. that That is a spot where you can lose a lot of time for no reason just because the bots might not follow you. Yeah, the bots actually trigger the end fight there. So if the bots do not come through the wall with you, you're basically going to be stuck there for like 10 seconds with them just trying to like get through the force field. So here we are in the Gladiator Arena. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> yeah. So th this is again, we're gonna be seeing this particular sequence a lot. Maybe not in this like precise area of the Gladiator Arena, but there are a lot of challenges that take place in this general vicinity. This is where he began the game. He's gonna come back several times, and here comes another instance of him resetting his state. Look how cool! Like I love that momentum preservation. That's it's just so cool. Looking. This this one this one tournament in particular has a lot of new like uh, advancements. I'd say in terms of uh, in terms of flail canceling and also using the 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 new technique of using infinite long jumps uh, like in a more RTA viable sense. Because uh, believe it or not, the most the most practical use of uh, of the infinite infinite jumps is to um, to use them in uh, ILs because in ILs the, we don't use RTA, so you can just you can just <laughs> you well you can just you can just it jump infinitely. So. Yeah. So basically, when uh, when we're doing ILs, it goes by in-game time instead of RTA. So it's so funny to see the world record say like six seconds but it takes 50 seconds in real time because they're just doing that reset of the uh of ratchet's momentum state over and over but yeah did we already explain flail canceling i forget yes yeah. well <laughs> and basically flail canceling is a matter of r1 and r2 use r1 to to use the weapon itself and r2 to change it so if you're using l2 let's say to to um use your charge boots to gain a lot of momentum you can press R1 to use your flail and then press R2 to change the weapon. And also, by the way, Davey, already making an auto orc song. Yeah. While we're just talking about a bunch of random stuff. Yeah, he's just going doing, right through. Doing what we really want him to. <laughs> Davey, how are you feeling? Tell, give us the mid-run, you know, rundown. How are, what's going on in your, in your brain? All right, so when you get to the mid-game, it's probably, this is probably where I got the most uh, stuff to worry about. Because there's a lot of just a lot of difficult things in the run. So right here, I'm gonna dash forward, and that uh, that captures the end zone there. And um, so right there at the beginning, I reset the challenge. The reason I did that is because the bots can actually technically move during cutscenes. So using that, I can kind of manipulate them to turn these nodes faster. So even though I'm actually giving up one second, I'm uh, yeah, I'm, I'm actually saving yeah. like five. There is <laughs> there is so much variability that can happen with how the bots operate, and especially depending on if he doesn't manipulate where the enemies are firing, uh, they can knock out the bots and they won't turn the bolt cranks because that's what he's doing. He's allowing the bots to do the dirty work for him. So he's kind of clearing the area, allowing the bots to come in, take out the bolt crank, and then moving on to the next one, kind of doing it in a, in a quick little sequence. And if any of the bots get downed, it becomes really detrimental because you have to go all the way back, revive the bot. It takes him like 10 seconds to fully revive. And then you have to re-issue uh, the command for him to go and turn the bolt crank. So it really becomes a pain in the butt. I mean, I think at some point everybody gets walled on Char when they're learning this game because it's 
it's really an exercise in making sure that you understand exactly how the bots work. So this one is actually a lot more lenient than the last one. Uh, so he's just going to be running through, and there are a lot less enemies, but he still has to do some certain uh, manipulation of where he's shooting, uh, in the, the pattern that he's taking on. He's going to throw out. Are you doing? Oh, he's not even doing the hollow shield threat. He's a, he's a true man. <laughs> Real I, man does it himself. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Crank that bolt. Get out of this planet. Let's go, Davey. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I really need this. This is just like <laughs> this is 6 a.m. energy, <laughs> baby. Let's go. Ugh. And we're heading on to Orkson. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? Less than less than 14, less than 13 seconds. Less than 13 seconds right now. Davy, show us. This, is, this mission will be done in less than 13 seconds. So the way that clip works is when Ratchet's going at a downward angle towards force fields, you can actually clip through them. Uh, it's barely used in the run because there's not a lot of times where you'd actually be able to go from that angle. Yeah, this whole, again, this whole sequence is just a matter of making sure you're clearing out the right enemies, uh, making sure that... You don't hard lock here. Oh this my god, a, yeah. This is an actual potential <laughs> hard lock point. Yeah, this, uh, so there was never an actual disc release of Deadlocked for the PS3, so this is just a port that... You know, Insomniac is like, oh, we can just throw this together. I don't know. But it, there's wh what it comes down to is with these PS3 ports, a lot of the time there's some very weird, unique issues that you don't find on the PS2 copies, including some hard locks. So if he doesn't, I don't know uh, exactly how to activate the hard lock, but yeah, there is a hard lock. You here play on the game, <laughs> and then the hard lock happens. <laughs> So and then you go, well, I ran deadlock. I deserve this. If you want to do a run and you want to be good, it'll happen. <laughs> but it's not happening to our boy Davey, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it happens because you'll, you'll either just like, have too many things happening at once. Like if you shoot and get hit at the same time, it'll hard lock. And sometimes it'll just do it for fun. And uh, you can't really control it. It literally just happens. So hopefully that doesn't happen on any of the planets that I'm doing. But. Yeah, we it need all the RNG blessings right now. Yeah, Davey was recanting a story to us about how uh, he was just practicing, was like, what, like a day or two ago? And you were talking about the, how the bots were just like infinitely floating upwards for a little while. Oh, yeah. So for whatever reason, when you start the game, it kind of just determines like how the bots are going to react. So like if I was to practice the same thing over and over again, it would still be wrong every single time. So if like a bot starts to just decide that it wants to float, then the only way to make it actually work properly would be to completely restart my console. Yeah, so keep your fingers crossed. <laughs> That's not really all we can hope for. I mean, eventually like it will work. It's like, just yeah. down. PS2. It's just, yeah. you'd lose like 30 seconds and then your run would be dead. So. Yeah. yeah, just just like for like, you know, for people that are on the fence, like, PS2 is 10 minutes slower. Just, yeah, don't, just it, don't do that. Th even with all the hardware issues that are possible on PS3, the reason that we run it is because it is ridiculously faster than PS2. There's, it's, and it really, there's no difference in strats, as far as I'm aware, at least if it operates the same yeah. way as the uh, original trilogy. It's exclusively load times. And just, I don't know, in-level loads, interplanetary loads, you name it. It'll, uh, it'll probably be slower. <laughs> so here is, uh, he, he's only allowed to use the, uh, the Hunter Mine Launcher here. So you're just going to be throwing some mines in a lot of spots to catch enemies as they're spawning. Uh, it's just going to throw wave after wave. It's, it's like the Futurama kill bots. Like the way to beat them is just to throw wave after wave of your own men at them. And so they're trying that strat on Ratchet and it's just not working. Uh, but they're going to keep trying. <laughs> Yeah, uh, as like an NG Plus challenge, a lot of like a lot of the uh, tournaments that you'll see are just like all challenges, and a lot of them do take a lot of time. But they're really satisfying to complete, especially with NG Plus uh, weapons. That like you can see, he has level 99 of every single weapon that he just has access to. Yeah, this is honestly and they're this, all just gone. Yeah, and there they go. Yeah. The challenge is over. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, all right, yeah. Great. And let's get used to that for every time he's in this the, the dread zone, because anytime he has to kill or kill any enemies, it, 
they might as well just like you know stay in the coffin like yeah. early. <laughs> yeah, it, it's just as the thing, as it goes with most Ratchet games. It's kind of like it's a really good feeling though when you just fire off one round of like the supernova or whatever and everything just dies and you're like, oh yeah, this is why I play this game. <laughs> Yeah, so he's just running through the challenges. I don't, there's no uh, event, or uh, what are they? Oh, yeah, here's uh, Reactor, right? That's his name. Yep, and another very difficult boss fight. Yeah, and there he goes. And he's dead. <laughs> and we clap. Yeah. And we clap. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then he's moving. <laughs> but, but we have something special for you at home, for, for those who think we don't do, you know, like, some what like kids birthday parties well you know or? some like unintended <laughs> stuff yeah oh okay so, so i didn't Dave, know where you were going with that what one. what davy will do for us here is that he will do the challenge you know he will do all the challenges like he was doing them yeah but i mean you know during this part he'll do something like this yeah and then okay. you know this and is fine he'll careen this wall yep still fine and shock cancel accordingly and yeah and he's just gonna and jump. he's just jumping off of nothing yep but you know what? And we love him for it. And we love the fact that it's saving 20 seconds over normal strat. All right, Let's go. yeah. Woo! Let's go, Davey. That, Let's go, Davey. He, he made it look very simple, but there's a lot of ways you can screw that up. So that's, getting that first try is always a very relieving feeling in a run. Where it's just like, because realistically what can happen is that like the slants have different weird, you know, floor, like, basically, the, I don't even know. I can't even explain it. I'm so sorry. So, for, for, for this portion of this mission, <laughs> yeah, Davey will going, mostly be doing going. it like, in order. So, if there are any do donations, let them ring. Mm. Fantastic. I've been waiting. We have $200 for the Denarios. He says, shout out from the couch. Good luck, Davey. Love you, dude. All right. That's fantastic. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Uh, we also have $25 from The Writing Scribe. Hello, GDQ from the front row. Always have to donate to not only a good cause, but also a ratchet run. Good luck, Davey. He's sitting right over there. Everyone say hi to him. Hi, Scribe. Hi. We'll say hi. <laughs> um, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I Heal You Quick sends in $20. Good to see you ratcheting up the hype in these early hours. Don't oh. deadlock our Sorry. expectations and keep it up. Donation goes to the 100% Final Fantasy VI run. I always read puns. I love it. <laughs> it's good uh, to mix it up a little bit. <laughs> Mika Kuitinen. Ooh, that was great. Uh, Mika Kuitinen. Yeah, that's good. Better. Is sends in $25. Had to donate since Ratchet and Clank is one of the biggest nostalgia blasts for me. Thanks for running this, and thanks for the awesome event. Money goes to Runner's Choice. And David, what is your choice? Uh, I chose the Mario Odyssey. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. So a lot of what Davey's doing here is um, just clipping through these doors. Um, like, the most of the... The rest of this plan is just going to be doing it as intended and um, skipping like as many gaps as he possibly can. Now that we've had this like infinite jump uh, glitch like uh, resurfacing since 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 this uh, since this got put into the the cycle for SGQ, we've actually found this while it got accepted. So <laughs> it, it helps us clear gaps just like Davey did earlier. Um, and for a planet like this, it's definitely appreciated, you know? Yeah. Like we, <laughs> thank you, thank you, yes. please. More of these, <laughs> we like these. Yeah, this is a, I mean, this whole development of the, of the IJ, it, the infinite jump is nothing new to Ratchet. There's, a, there's usually some form of IJ in Actually, there is a form of, of infinite jumping in all three original trilogy games. So it, in hindsight, it feels like it was a matter of time, but just the way that it was found is just so, it feels so random. I don't know, but it's, it's really cool. And so uh, Davey is finished up with, uh, with this planet. Now he's moving on to uh, Torval, is it? Torval, yeah. yes. Yeah. Torval is one of those ones that can also have really annoying bot stuff happen to you if he doesn't play it exactly right. But so far, things have been going pretty well, and Davey's been manipulating them like a champ, so I don't really expect that to go south anytime soon. So here, he's just got to clear out these guys. Once he kills them, there's these uh, nodes that the, the bots will turn. He's got to hit all three stations. It's, 
It's, it, this is like the this is the pattern for this planet especially. It's just you know you go to the spot. It, it again you know you go to the spot, you do the thing. You go to the next spot, you do the thing. So this is the pattern that we round and round we go. <laughs> and the weapons, of course. Like, yeah. Every weapon you see him use is like actually very crucial. Yeah. Um, there's very little like improvisation for that type of stuff. I will let Davey commentate this next part. This part is very precise, and I want him to tell you what he's thinking. So when we first started doing this, there was a bunch of different methods for how many like turrets we put down, what or whether we put mines down, or where we put them. Uh, these little drones, I think they're called, uh, they they act very weird. They they run away from you, but they don't actually run away when they take damage. So we kind of try to manipulate them into an area where they'll uh, <laughs> where they'll d die and. Uh, not just run past my turrets somehow. <laughs> yeah, that's so weird. <laughs> so, like, that's why it's so weird, is because we've had so many different setups, and sometimes, like, it can literally just fail for no reason like that. <laughs> we, we genuinely don't know why. Sometimes they'll literally just disappear as well. Like, it's a very... It's a very there weird we thing. Go. And all of a yeah. sudden, they're all dead, okay. right? Yeah. You know. That's how it works. Okay. I mean, I'm glad they're, de I'm glad they're gone. <laughs> but, but why it didn't yeah. work the first time, we'll never yeah. know. Such is the majesty of this game. So for what Davey's going to do here is he's just going to try to tell his his bots to to crank the nose. Don't, don't even worry about that. Yeah, the he's going to go to the thing and do the thing, and then go to the next <laughs> thing and do the thing, and you know. In this case, <laughs> in this specific mission, you don't have to worry about enemies. Davey's not worrying about enemies. He has he has no time for that at all. Yeah. We need to complete this speed run, and we're going to do it fast. So we're going to tell these enemies that they don't. You know what? They can go somewhere else. Yeah, like, you can go catch to a different me, genre. Catch to, me caring about yeah, what catch, you're trying catch to do. Go, catch, go to another like Super Mario game, dude. You ain't touching <laughs> Ratchet. This is some next level <laughs> stuff, okay? And the mission's done. So you already know. You already know. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. All right. I love it. I love this. This this energy. This is this is what we need all the time. Can you just be my hype man like always? I literally am, though. Oh, my God. <laughs> what's the game plan here? Davey, what's the game plan? The game plan? For what? Just this. It's done. This. Okay, right. it's, it's over. Done. The it's done. done. It's, he, yeah. You just it's, throw turrets and, shoot the, and he, shoot the stuff in the sky. His APM was too high. He, he couldn't you know, he couldn't go in the depth Dude, about it. Dude, that's why this game is so hype. Because <laughs> you just bring the weapons, you bring the pain, and you get this it's so. over it's over next mission all right don't on the talk next to me. tournament all right so, that's exactly how it works uh is this the one with uh eviscerator yes yes okay cool yes so we're coming up on the third are, are they avengers is that their name second to last we'll call it the the four the the dudes are they the i don't even remember what their actual it's, uh, he looks like a bug but he's yeah. pretty badass yeah he's cool. <laughs> all right everybody gets one yeah. <laughs> i got the one yeah all right, uh, but yeah, so um, yeah, so he's he's actually casually. I think he's so much fun to play against. But obviously, since this is the the uh, the couch potato difficulty, you're not going to be able to see too much of what he's got in store for us. But uh, yeah, so he's the third out of the four main bosses. Um, well, you know, five if you count the secret special boss at the end who isn't really a secret. Who you'll but, find you out know, with you, if you stick if around. You, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, he's just going through again. He's trying to just clear out all the enemies. You know the drill at this point. Oh, does this one have the uh, the time mission? Uh, it does. Yeah. It does. Oh my god. Best. It's going to be the best part of the run. You guys are going to love this. And he, this is it. This is it. Okay. This is literally it. So he's going to go over here. And he's going to clip through the wall. And then he's going to go all the way down here. And then. And, and, and then. And then. And, and now we wait. And then. And no that's it. And then nothing. And. All right. Except donations, if we have. Yes. <laughs> we absolutely do. We have a $100 from Anonymous that says, always great to see Ratchet at GDQ. I've been running any percent, so I'll enjoy seeing a different group here. We also have Miss Cast who sent in $20. What a coincidence. I need to donate for those Pokemon Gold and Silver Perlers, but I also definitely need to show my love during the classic Sony block. My younger self is going to cry seeing how easy it is for these runners to finish Ratchet, Spyro, and Crash. 
Yeah, can we get a quick like round of applause for the Sony block? Like, let's do it. We need like, it. We need the love. We need it. For this, and also yeah. we need coffee, but that's a different story. But yeah, we got we got some more time if you wanna. Yeah, we have keep going more Tampa. It. It's yeah. the Geiger one four two sends one hundred dollars. Says greetings from the back couch. You're doing awesome, Davey. Breakfast on me when you're done. By the way, what is no EGS? Uh, we can All explain right. that. Good yeah, so, good question. So the most unlikely source, of course, finds this thing that is early ghost station skip, which is. Essentially, in this game, only PS3, this is a PS3 exclusive, you can load the game, and then once you load the game, you can just press triangle to cancel everything. You can cancel the difficulty and just keep playing on the file you're playing it on. And then, and, it, and yeah. then if you beat whatever mission you beat, you can just warp to your to the file that you originally loaded. So, yeah, this is a really hard thing to explain, but basically the, the best way that we can put it is that, so Skits right here, the hype man himself, he actually found the, this early Ghost Station glitch. He found it when he was rage quitting a run, but changed his mind at the last second and unloaded the file he had already loaded. And because he had, oh, this is fancy, I like this. Ooh, that is <laughs> fancy. Um, because he unloaded, oh, oh wait, oh wait, here's the boss. And, and, there's, and there he goes. All right, cool, great. All right. Woo! Let's go, KB. <laughs> so when he unloaded the file after he had loaded up a new one, he continued playing it out. And when he finished the mission that he was on, it auto-loaded the next file, even though he hadn't reloaded it. And when he was on that file, it had unlocked everything that he had previously done on the other file. And so EGS is, uh, so this is like, generally like a 45, 50 minute run. EGS is you start at the beginning and then you go to the second to the last planet immediately. And it's a six minute run. <laughs> so it's uh, just from killing, just from killing a boss and like before you do that, just load a normal save like from NG plus and just hit, hit triangle, you know, yeah. before you hit that difficulty select. <laughs> yeah, uh, and then the Rixer made a YouTube video going in depth about exactly how it's done. So if you actually, if you true. have a PS3 copy and you want to try it yourself, uh, yeah, just Google the Rixer and early ghost station. So that's the that's the. That would have been a better answer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's it's gonna be way better than any explanation we could possibly do right now. So, and here uh, it's another Landstalker mission. This one, even on couch potato difficulty, is actually really scary because the Landstalker can just get blown up by all the enemies. But Davey, of course, gets through it with ease. And uh, here he goes on to the next section. This planet, I think, just visually is really cool. I, I always thought it was really interesting. I don't know, it kind of reminds me of, a, of Star Wars in a way, like the, all the floating oh, platforms yeah. and things like and that. And Davey, like, using all of the game's mechanics, skipping as many gaps as possible with foil canceling perfectly, and like blowing everything up just in in such a way that like it it won't slow him down or any of his bots is so perfect. So like for for anyone that wants to run this game at home, just pay attention to the finer details. It it really adds up every single second that you can save just by by destroying as many enemies as as Davey does and closing as many gaps. Yes, truly, it's all about the finer things. Oh yeah. And, yes. Ratchet Deadlock we're, for <laughs> PS3. We're men of culture in this community. This mission is more of just Davey going to be protecting the bots. Yeah, um, the, the bots are turning the, the cranks, and then he has to just shoot all the enemies to make sure they don't shoot the bots. Uh, yeah, well, that's, that's the cool thing about uh, Ratchet Deadlock that I like, is that you get to enjoy like the, the cool movement tech that the, that, um, uh, the, the trilogy really has to offer. Yeah. Like, you know, that type of being able to charge fast and, and destroy, like, everything in sight is ratchet. And you also get to be able to be in these these machines that just destroy everything. Wait, you can get out of the ship? Yeah. <laughs> what? You just have to go, you have to go close to the ground. How did I, I not know, know this? That, I didn't know that. <laughs> did, did oh, just... my goodness. Okay, all right. Well, that's fine. <laughs> Davey bringing something Davey, to the table? Davey's hiding strats from us. What a scumbag. And you know what? Davey, what's your favorite thing about Deadlocked? 
Uh, I like that it's just got a lot of customization. I like that you play in like lock strafe mode, which is the only game that you actually do this in. Mm. Um, yeah, I just I just have a lot of fun with it, and I like the concept. Yeah, I always thought this one was just. I mean, it really was a unique take on on just Ratchet in general. It's it wasn't very well received critically, like you know, rating wise, but. It was one of those games where it was just you could. It was the first game that ever had true multiplayer co-op. Like there was, co there's multiplayer versus in the previous game, Up Your Arsenal, but this was the only one you could like sit down with a friend and actually go through it. And it definitely added a whole new dimension, at least in my opinion. So, uh, which is it Stygia? Is that what this plan is? It's Miraxis. Is? Miraxis. How could you forget? I'm sorry. <laughs> and so what Davey's doing here is actually very technical. What he's doing is he's he's trying to touch every node in a way with his bot that the bot doesn't die and that he's close enough that the bot actually listens to what he says to do. Yeah. I promise you that that's not like an over-exaggeration. He really needs to tell the bot exactly where he is and what to do. Yeah, this is actually a lot more precise than it looks. It, it looks like he's just going through and just pressing the button, but if he's not in the right spots, it won't work at all. So Davey does a fantastic job of of spacing that perfectly and clipping through the, the wall to get a perfect finish on that mission. Perfect, Davey. Yeah, so if you don't time that like properly between the nodes, you can't actually go for the clip. So it actually like automatically just loses like five seconds. Oh, so Davey got great RNG here. Yeah. The, the bot instantly, instantly gets him across where he needs to be to finish that mission off and hit that trigger. Sometimes the bot will not will not go right to him. So that's a great Miraxis. Yeah, that was sick. a really good Miraxis. Really good. Like I, I swear to God, like it, this is actually such a huge problem. Like I'm sure there's at least like all the deadlock people who are watching this right now are just like like muttering under their breath, like <laughs> why can't I get this in my runs? Like for real, it's actually such a pain. Yeah, I'm Davey, Davey does make it look like magic, you know? <laughs> yeah. But, he's, got, but, he's got the touch. But at least you know what to aim for, for for everyone who's watching at home, you know? Yeah. So what Davey's going to do here is just obliterate enemies for the next uh, few minutes. Just It's going to be a, a weapon cycle between this, the, the uh, bomb, and the uh, dual vipers. And between those three weapons, he's just destroying wave after wave of enemy here and eventually leading to uh, Ace Hardlight, which is what we were talking about with our, our uh, um, where EGS really begins. Yeah. With just killing Ace Hardlight. So um, during this time, we will have a little bit of time for uh, donations, if there are any. Oh, we got tons. All right, first up, we have $5 from Gleeman Vox. Why, hello there, Davey. Gleeman Vox. Just letting you know, you're doing great so far, but you're nothing compared to Ace Hardlight. Prove me wrong, I challenge you. I don't know if I did the voice right, but I did my best. It was uh, great. It was good, yeah. <laughs> we on. also have $20 from Ra. Dear Ratchet and Clank Runners, greetings from the Jack speedrunning community, specifically the two behind you guys, Ra and Rubix. Best of luck with your no egg run, heart. They're also, yeah, they weren't lying. They're right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a facade. It's yeah. real. It's real. They're not trying to finesse you guys, you know? All right. Yeah, we got time for more. Yeah, we yeah. have $34 from Double Evil saying, do you know that Clank is a robot? Is he? Okay. All that's right. a joke from earlier. What a controversy. <laughs> Man, <laughs> if I ever heard one. Man, that's just some, uh, I didn't need these spoilers in my life. That's that's messed up. Yeah, I should, re I should rethink, like, the last three years of <laughs> playing video games, really. <laughs> yeah, uh, but keep going. Point, right? Yeah, we have $15 from Anonymous that says, just moved to a new country, but watching SGDQ in the middle of unpacked boxes makes it feel like home. Through all the crunch, deadlines, and stress, GDQ reminds me why I develop games. A big thank you to everyone involved. I like that message. That was a good one. Wholesome. Yeah. So is this, is this, is this it time? This is the fight, yeah. It's time. This is Ace High Riot. Here it is. Yep. And, and Ace Harley is dead. Yeah, all right. All right. Let it, yo, Davey, let's go. Yeah. Let's go, Davey. And so he is the final of the like the big four. 
And so uh, Gleeman Vox is just like, yo, kid, you're a superstar now. You killed all of my best men. So now you get to be my best man. And Ratchet's like, I don't want to just like kill people. That's kind of messed up. And so uh, stress coming in. So now Gleeman Vox is trying to do everything he can to kill Ratchet. And that strat is so cool. That, I love that. strat that is. That's he so did that cool. in two pauses. Not going to lie, harder than it looks. <laughs> Try it at home if you disagree. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> back to you, Zem. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, yeah, Fox is, he's, he's a cool dude. Oh, by the way, the next mission is uh, done? Yep. So there's a barrier, there's a barrier for the end of that mission, and you can actually foil cancel past it if you time yeah. it correctly. If you watch Davey very precisely from this, this VOD, <laughs> please watch this just, VOD. Just study over VOD. and over, just, yeah. just replay that, you know? Every bomb is so Why good. not? What do you have to lose? <laughs> All right, anyways. More, <laughs> more Davy, more Ratchet and Clank. I'm sure Davy's just, just Davy. You're being such a good sport about this. We, <laughs> this is like we, our commentary is such a hot mess. You're just, <laughs> you're just rolling with it. Uh, no, no, it's good. 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 <laughs> but yeah, so now he's he's uh, pulling through the last ship mission. Uh, this one, you have to take out all these squares and also all the turrets. And the squares are apparently batteries, but they, I don't believe that. <laughs> well, I just, they look like squares. I don't know what else they would do. Fear not, my fair fellow comrade, <laughs> because <laughs> if you do the EGS run, you could get just as much practice as this, as Davey does. Shooting all these squares. <laughs> yeah, because you can do this too. <laughs> but for real, like, Davey's actually doing a very precise route here. Yeah, he's. So, yeah, go. You no, okay. no. After well, you. Well, I was gonna say you. he's gonna destroy actually all the nodes up there like he's doing now. He's gonna do that before he act, or while he's killing all of these turrets. So by the time all of these nodes are done, the turrets will already be done. Yeah. Right, like right now. Just like, yeah. And, so and now, now we're heading to the. Now end. we're yeah. Now we're at the final level. So yeah, Davey, uh, how you feeling? You you think. <laughs> You think you're gonna be able to clutch it out? You think you're gonna be able to save the entirety of Dread Zone? Probably not. Okay, that's fair. But I think you will. <laughs> stuck Clank for like half a second. If that counts for yeah. anything. Yeah. <laughs> stuck Clank for half a second there. Yeah. Yeah. He. Uh, it was in his contract. Yeah. We couldn't really avoid it. We tried to. I think that's the third time we see Clank. <laughs> As in fast, yeah. I think. So this is actually considered to be one of the harder levels because there's so much stuff that can go wrong between failing different clips and the bots. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is really the game just throwing every single thing. And and really it's kind of funny because it's not even in the casual sense, it's just in the speed sense you have to be adept at everything. Uh, I think, if I recall, is there an IJ section here as well at one point? Yeah, I do one right yeah, here. Yeah, right here. So he's doing IJs, he's doing mind clips, he's manipulating the bots. He's uh, getting the flail cancels in. He made that, which is a lot harder than it looks. And uh, now he's just, he's moving and grooving. And this section right here, I swear to God, it's impossible to understand. I don't know how you deadlock runners do it. I never know how to just manipulate these guys in the exact right spots, but of course, Davey's just gonna make it look so easy, and he's gonna I call I me an idiot what in doing. private. <laughs> what? Oh, okay. Well, never mind. <laughs> Apparently, it's all just wizardry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, everything so says them is true. That's just like one of those examples where the bot just literally just ran away right there for no reason, and. I, I, I just can't control it. Okay. <laughs> like it happens. All right. It makes me feel a little bit better about myself, at the very least. <laughs> but yeah, generally what he's going to do in, in certain spots, at least I believe in the sec second section he does this. Um, I've seen certain runners do this depending on how comfortable they feel. He might leave one or two enemies alive because uh, the enemies in these giant rooms won't spawn until you kill a certain amount of enemies. So if you leave roughly like two or three alive, uh, you can kind of maintain where those two enemies are firing, so keep them away from the bots without, you know, six or seven more enemies spawning. So it, there's a bit of manipulation going on here as well. Uh, and then, you know, these sections, you're just trying to weave through them as quick as you can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the main goal for Davey is just to, to go as fast as possible through all these, like, crazy obstacles, as you can see. And 
you know, that includes door clipping, that includes foil canceling, that includes just killing enemies as fast as possible. So for everything that you've seen from Deadlock that you know and love, this is exactly what you want for the last, like, five minutes of the game, which is exactly what we're seeing here from Davey. Yeah. Just mowing through enemies and just moving flawlessly through these and decoy clipping fabulously. Yeah. And so he, he's using the turret strat. Uh, which is also another option because the turrets are so, uh, the turrets are so strong and they fire so fast that anytime any enemy spawns they just immediately kill them and they they allow the bots the room to just do their thing. Yeah, so for these challenges, like there's a lot of enemies because basically with the robots I've full, haven't fully upgraded them, which basically means they can't shield link each other. That way, both of them can actually. Uh, do the commands at the same time, and it uh, doubles the speed, which makes a lot of enemies spawn. So it actually just makes it incredibly laggy when you're trying to do those rooms, and just, yeah, it, it makes it really easy for them to die and lose a lot of time. Yeah, if you want to speedrun this game, do not, do not upgrade the shield link. Do not upgrade shield link. I will say that one more time. Do not shield. Do not upgrade shield link. Uh, do not do that. I was really worried you were just gonna stop. I've your done that. No, no. I was, it wasn't no, no, no. okay. I, I was really worried that you were gonna stop your sentence. That if you're thinking of running this game, do not. <laughs> and just stop right there. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. And yeah, but this is the last one for Davy right here. So if he does this, Vox is our next opponent. Yeah. And as you could probably guess, uh, he's gonna do it. He's. <laughs> He's going to drop pretty much as fast as every other enemy. Uh, that's the cool thing. I mean, the cool thing about NG+, Plus, you remove the difficulty in uh, so that you can add speed and variety and all this other cool stuff. So that's the appeal of these categories, at least to me. And here comes the final boss. And... Coming up on time. Is that a one cycle? That's yeah. hot. I even like that. Though, yeah. yeah, even though his bar is zero, That's he has hot. to do the second phase. Yeah. So the second he comes out of that shield, it's time. Wait, wait, sorry, sorry. As soon as, sorry, as, soon as the, the screen faces the black. Time. 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 <laughs> I lied about everything. everything. We can see Clank one more time. Davey, we're so sorry. <laughs> well, yeah. I, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah for real though, give it up for Davey. This yeah, is, Davey this was is an amazing run. Let's go, Davey. This is... Davey, how far was this off your PB? Uh... Two, like two and a half minutes. minutes. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, that's right. yeah, like a 43. Minutes. Yeah. Still, a 46 in a marathon is... That's insane. There's so many things that can go wrong in this game. Davey really killed it. So, amazing job from him. Any last words, Davey? Any, any shout-outs? Uh, shout-outs to everyone who got up this early in the morning to actually watch this run. Um... Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, early. Anyone who wants to, you know, learn more about Ratchet and Clank speedrunning, there's a lot of people out there. It doesn't have to be this game. Lots of Ratchet runners, so yeah. Other than that, you guys got anything else? Not really. Yeah. Our community is awesome. <laughs> Join us. Yeah, we're pretty sick. <laughs> GG, to be honest. All right. Thanks. Seriously, what an amazing run with a great commentary couch. Like, getting the energy way up, way up in the morning. Um, we have a couple extra donations here that are fantastic to hear from, including $150 from Anonymous, saying, thanks to everyone who made this great event possible. It was a pleasure to be able to spend my birthday watching great runs all day. So happy birthday, Anonymous person. We have $50 from Tucson Robot that says, no comment. I was hoping that was a robot thing. $25 donation from Try or Tree. I might say Tree. I love seeing people come together to work towards helping others who need it. No one here involved should forget how much they matter to those who need their help. It was very sweet. Thank you, Tree. We have $10 from Anonymous saying, Nika on the mic and a hype couch commentary. This run has it all. Good luck on the run today. And hi, Nika. Greetings from England. I would like to say also hello to all of England. <laughs> so hi, England.
Davlamin sends in $100 and says, good luck on the runs. Donation goes to Couch's Choice. So make sure before they leave that we hear what the Couch's Choice is. $150 from Flo, oh my heavens, okay, uh, Flodarian. Flodarian? That sounds great. Um, I could not watch most of GDQ this time, but I still wanted to contribute. Go runners and go donators for that Mario Odyssey run, which we have a bonus game incentive, Super Mario Odyssey, which is currently at $35,000 out of $150,000. So if you want to see Super Mario Odyssey, which I think we all do, let's get that donation money coming in for this. There's $151 from Nexian. Kirby is my spirit animal as we both eat all the things. So let's complete all the game, 100%. You're all doing amazing work. This week of streaming has been so much fun to watch. Our next incentive, actually, is also exactly that. Kirby's Adventure upgrade to 100% upgrade to run. That we are at, we are so close to our goal. We're only about like, uh, let's say $1,300 off. We're at 18,000 out of 20,000. So let's see it. Sentoki sends in $50. GDQ inspired me to start speedrunning. Always happy to put some money towards this amazing cause. And Phantom Ghost sends in $60 with, how can you not suplex a train? Yes, there is an incentive for that. Later on, our final run of the night will be Final Fantasy VI. And of course, and including you can name the characters. There's all sorts of stuff here. Um, there is one, my, my current favorite of the incentives is quote unquote just opera shenanigans, um, which I believe is some singing involved. That requires 25,000, we're at 6,000 for that, so I really want to do it. And Final Fantasy VI suplex the train is at 4,000 out of the necessary 30,000. So guys, get it together, let's suplex the train, donate. Of course, GDQ is here supporting Doctors Without Borders or Medicine Sound Frontier. They are a medical humanitarian organization working in more than 60 countries around the world. MSF is a private international association that provides assistance to populations in distress, to victims of natural or man-made disasters, and to victims of armed conflict. They do so irrespective of race, religion, creed, or political convictions. You can find out more at doctorswithoutborders.org. Also, one of our sponsors is the Yeti, ah, supporting Games Done Quick events since 2012. They're an official merchandise sponsor for Games Done Quick, and you can get official uh, SGDQTs and more at theyeti.com. Yaiko sends in $20 saying, watching SGDQ since 2013, and now it's my fourth donation. Keep that brilliant event going and break the $2 million mark. I'm already excited for AGDQ. Greetings from Germany. <laughs> 